Hi, hello. Today I want to show you how to adjust the workspace settings in AutoCAD 2013. First, I want to make a backup of my main customization file. Where to find it? One way would be to take a look at Customize. Go for the main customization file, this one, and there is the path. So if I just copy it, okay, go to my file explorer. this hard disk and set it you may find here a ACAD CUIX file if the file endings are visible so I will make a backup you will notice there is already a backup but save is safe so I go over here make copy and insert it so I have a copy of Arcad CUIX because it's very good to do it like this. There is no reset for this customization. So go back here. Then move over here, go to workspace settings and change this option to automatically save workspace changes and OK. Now I want to save my current settings with my name and save and you see it already changed to this new workspace which is called Wolfgang Walden. See? Okay. Uh, as this field is redundant with that one, I want to exchange it. Yeah? So I go here for customize. We'll move to the quick access toolbars quick access toolbar 1 and there is a rip and combo box workspace I will remove it yes and I will add Instead, where is it? Oh, yeah, there it is. Layers and it should be as I don't know it, I just click right here and then AutoCAD selects it over here. Now I can copy this one and paste it into my quick access toolbar right here. Paste and apply. And you see I got here the option to change my layers. So now I want to save my workspace settings. I go to Transfer, select with this one with the left mouse button, hold the left mouse button and just move it over here to Workspaces. And then I save it as Wolfgang Akkad 
2003 CUX, CUIX, yes, and I'm done. Okay, then I want to put some pellets over here. Therefore, I take this one, layer properties, and select this and allow docking and anchor it left. So it moves over here and then press the right mouse button and make it icons only. So usually you need very often this layer manager and the layer selection tool. Next I want to move the properties over there. Properties and anchor it left. So I've got this one right here and maybe we can put the design center in this bar as well. So let's take a look. It should be right here. <coughs> Design center. Anchor it left. And again I got these three icons over here. That's very useful. Okay. There are some settings which are saved in the profile. So I want to make a new profile. Therefore I have to go, for example, to the menu browser, to the options, On the right side there is a register, it's called Profiles. If you want to make a new profile, go Add to List, give it a name, apply and close it, see, and you can export this one and you can also import this one later on. So what would be in this profile? For example, if you go to Options, yeah, just make it current one by double click or set current. So now this is the current profile. Now I could change, for example, one setting. Go to display, colors, and change the background to white background. Apply and close, and OK. And if you want to change the profile, just make this one set current, and it goes back to the black background. And OK. So you could of course export your profile settings and import it later on. And thanks for your kind attention. See you next time. Bye.